Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my vlog and again this is Kat from Server 15. Now this video is another video about the Lost Island and this is actually a requested video. It's about making towers, right? So of course, uh, towers are very important and they are the one that connects your path to the other buildings in order for you to occupy them so what are all the buildings that you can occupy in the lost island so let's try to reveal those buildings now first we have the layers so this is how a layer looks like they are smaller and easier to capture so if you capture the layer it will give you some buffs Okay, and another building is that the residents. So residents are more uh, bigger and more stronger because when you attack them, there is like a specific a uh, number of station troops that you need to defeat in order for you to occupy it successfully. So another is tunnel and fairies so tunnels are located on the borderline of your state okay so it's like this one it's like a small macaroni uh, shape it looks like this and they of course each building has different levels so i think the um the week or the what's that again the lowest level is level 3, and I'm not very sure about the highest level. I think it's like level 8. Let's check the one near the tree. I haven't seen level 8. Okay, so there is a level 8. I think that is like the highest level of building that we can see here right so we also have fairies fairies are like um they are like the way uh that you need to take in order for you to cross the river so let's try to take a close look so it looks like this and of course there are two fairies that connected to each other in order for you to move on the other side right so these are what fairies look like in um if there is no fairy at that specific location but there is another way you can cross the river and that is a leaf let's find a leaf Okay, I can't find a leaf. Let's keep scrolling. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, let's try to find this one. There is a leaf here. I saw it. This one. So these are the leaf and they also act like fairies which connects your tower uh, to the other side so you can cross it like the fairies but this you don't need to attack it okay you don't need to occupy the leaf you can just use it to uh, build path and then uh, try to um, be closer to it in order for you to get to the other side so that is how it functions so now let's try to build a tower now guys i am actually aiming to i'm aiming to connect our residence level six to this layer number five because we plan to take it okay so let's try to reveal the territorial limits 
so yeah it will look like this if you're going to see it so yep now if you can see it is like in a slanting line and if you are going to check there is a river between the two so you need to find a fairy or a leaf in order for you to connect them together and of course in order for you to connect them together you need to um you need to find or you need to build towers okay so i already assume that we are going to use like 10 um that is just uh a guess like 10 towers because it's too you know it's too far and yep so i will connect the layer 5 to uh resident 6 so of course i don't have or we don't have any towers near so we're going to start from the occupied building so you're just going to connect it in here so um okay you go to alliance and territory and this one so here you're going to um, have access to build the tower so guys mind that um you only can or r5 r4s and r3s are the only um, players that can build alliance tower so r2 and r1 are not able to build towers right and of course there are requirements um for you to build towers so you are going to need clay and if you if your clays are not enough then you should try to do daily task and uh, that at least exceeds 180 points it's such like like this so i haven't um finished now if you will check the rewards they give clays up and up to 180 points but if you go to 60 3 40 420 and 500 points they actually don't give so 180 is already enough so yep um right let's try this one so let's hatch shooter ants in order for our points right so i am already all right now let's go build the territory oops not here So we are going to build it here All right now one alliance tower um consumption of clay is two thousand so i will build it like this and click yes All right so another tip is that um the higher the power of the troops you're going to send in the alliance tower building the faster it will finish right but if you're not rushing then any um any type of unit any power will do so for example your alliance um actives is not that much you can include your farms in it and you can join them in building the tower so there's a specific number of troops that can only um, occupy or station. So the max is 10. Alright, so if you want to send a unit, you can just click build and then select what unit you want to send. So I will try to send T1 here. 
for a faster rally or station time. Oh yeah, I'm actually in a call with Draken right now. He's my ally in tap. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, Draken, do you have any tips about it? Um you need to you need to use your strongest unit. I already mentioned that. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, you need to if you're rushing, okay? Like if you're rushing the tower, then um in order for you to build the tower fast, you need to send the strongest unit that you have in the in the tower. I think one um unit that has a power of uh 5 million I think the minus time will be 10 minutes. Yeah. So imagine if you're going to send 10 units in that tower building. Um, I think you can finish the tower within 5 minutes or less than 5 minutes. We tried that before when we are rushing to get the what's that we tried to get this mm, i think this the layer level four we tried to connect our layer level five to this and we only did it like five minutes because a lot of strong players from my alliance are active and they're sending their most strongest units so yeah it's actually good if you're rushing but if you're not in a rush and there is no one um destroying and fighting your 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 alliance then it everything is good so yeah if you can see also bio is destroying and stealing our buildings so we can't do much about it because they are too powerful so i'm not going to risk everything that my alliance have so we'll just going to give them what they want for now we still have another plan haha <laughs> okay so <laughs> um all right so after we connect them together then if you're going to see that a tower is near here that is the time we are able to rally or attack or invade the layer level five okay so yep tower buildings is very important because it will serve you you your alliance as a road or a path to the buildings right so build more towers now here is a trick that i personally personally um learned and know uh, from my experience in this game okay so this uh tip is only based on my own understanding so for example this is our alliance blockhouse so this is actually starfish island we chose it and yeah um of course it will all still vary on which state did you choose so this is for us and if you can see there's not much buildings around so if you're really like a very strong powerful alliance then you can invade the buildings of the the neighboring um states so yep um for this if i could only turn back the time <laughs> i would make a path on the 
buildings that are near the borders, right? So, which buildings are those? It's this one, this one, the layers, and... Yeah, the back um, layers too, and also the side. I will actually um, focus on building a path on those and get them first. Because if the alliance or the neighboring alliance is running out of buildings to occupy in their state, they would really put an eye on your buildings and they're going to take it away especially if they see that those buildings are still neutral and you haven't occupied them then they're definitely going to take it just like what happened here in my state so this residence and the layers and the habitat we haven't occupied them yet before you know that's why bio uh, I, 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 took an eye and you know they steal it so yeah it's part of the game nothing serious about it but of course we are very upset about it and we can't do anything so yeah and yeah again you need to focus first on the sides right and make a path and when making a path make sure that you have a connection like a leaf or a fairy in order for you to get to the other side because there will be a lot of um things like that you're going to encounter so you need to double check first before building a tower on that path and you know um the builders have a very important role so you need to always um ask for recommendations to your allies because sometimes you know they what you can't see is being seen by them so always ask for recommendations and their opinions right and there will be a time that Maybe you're going to argue about this and that. So, you know, guys, you need to compromise something. And you need to be um, reaching a good agreement with everybody. Because there will be a time that you're going to be, like, broke. And your resources, diamonds, TP, your your troops are going down. And you're you're losing. You think you're losing, but you're not and you know it's still early to be sad about it you know the tables can easily turn so you just need to have a good strategy okay okay and you you know guys i have another thing that i am thinking so for example that the uh, enemy alliance is approaching on one of your buildings and you think they are going to steal it so what i am going to suggest is that uh try if you have a lot of ways try to surround your for example this they are going to steal this try to surround this residence a lot of towers for example, one here and then another one here. So try to surround it as much as you can. And, you know, they are not able to teleport beside it. It will took them a long time. They can destroy the towers first in order for them to get close. And that is a delaying tactic. Right? That is just a suggestion. It's always up to you, but that's just yeah my idea but you know it's it's all it's already too late for us but you know this experience gave us a lot of knowledge what we should do next so somehow we are still thankful that we experienced this and that and it only um, makes us really you know um knowledgeable and 
and experience. So, um, if we try to join the Lost Island event again next time, we surely know what to do because we already learned from the past. <laughs> right? Oh, Draken, do you want to say something? Hello. Hello. Do you want to say something? Please make your voice clear. Do you have a message? Um nothing much really. <laughs> no, give them a message, like some some tips. Oh, what should they focus on and what should they do <laughs> if they choose Starfish Island? Oi. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> you, al- you, you already said it all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so... Yeah, um... You don't try to let your emotions get into the game. There will always be a time that the enemy players are really going to piss you off. So, you know, don't stress yourself much like we did. So right now, me and Draken somehow are sick. <laughs> I have sinusitis and some fever going on. Maybe this is because of this trust too about the game so now i am trying to chill and relax myself and just go on with the flow you know i've been seeing a lot of hate comments about the lost island and you know guys um it's all right it's okay to to blurt out your your opinions and what you think about it it's all right but you know you're already in there and there's no way we can go out right so you know just just explore the game and look for another angle on how you can win or on how you can succeed on how you can obtain those everyday milestones that the game is requiring for you to do so yeah just enjoy being there and if you are already zero then um you need to take it easy and let your allies do their work so you can rest and regain your strength and train troops so yeah there is a lot of ways that you can do and you guys if you experience this and that you know we are actually going to appreciate it if you will share what you know you know you can always comment down on the comment box and let us know what have you experienced maybe we experienced the same thing and then we can try to you know um uh, brainstorm with it and you know we can just talk about it how are we going to win that situation right <laughs> all right so i'm being emotional here now let me get to the video topic so yes guys the uh the um the priority here actually is go to the th- to, to, to the tree because at the end of this event everyone should participate in taking the tree all right so for our island this is starfish habitat this is the only way actually this and this so these two tunnels are our path to go to the tree to have an access to the tree because this is a borderline it's a pure rock and you cannot pass in this you know you can only pass through the tunnels you see so 
Thank goodness my allies already made the path through one of the tunnel. So I am planning to guard this and make a lot of towers so that the enemy of the bio cannot steal it away from us. Because this is the only way that we can um we can go to the tree. So yep, it will give us the fastest way to the tree. If we are going to occupy this and then we can go here and go on with the uh, tree the land of abundance in this event right so this is the tree and OMG so you see this total station troops is 63 million and all of those are season of 11 ants so if you're going to check the information, these are all the troops that you need to defeat in order for you to get the tree. So there are so many and each of these units have 7.9 million power. And all of them are like this. They are season um, uh, tier 11. So I imagine how much you need to spend you know knowing the limited stamina the power so you really need to make and gather a lot of season 11 or 10 um ants in this event so it's really costly so you really need to prepare a lot in order for you to you know successfully or be competitive in this event right so again that's it for this video um that's the way you can um build towers and connect them to the buildings so yep again this is katalea and my ally draken i think he's sleeping so thank you so much guys don't forget to subscribe and comment and like this video you can also share it to your friends and goodbye. Have fun.